You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. On the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Client List After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. Two five six seventeen twenty nine, and now another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Client List After Show. Good evening, After Buzzers. We are here at the After Buzz TV studios doing things the way things always should be done with Bing. I am your host for the evening, David Skifalady, joined as always by the gorgeous Sarah Huggins. Oh, thank you. Hello. And we are doing Season 1, Episode 5 of The Client List, titled The Cold Hard Truth. Do you like how I capitalized hard? I do. I know. <laughs> you capitalized hard all of the hard truth. and all of truth. What Why does that say I don't know. about you? I mean, I wanted to just capitalize hard, but I see that I did truth as well, so yeah. I'm not sure. If that what does it say about your subconscious? Well, but that's kind of what it was about, right? The hard truth. Well, it's supposed to be kind of a pun, isn't it? Like the cold hard truth. I mean, I, I would hope so. Hard as in, you know what's hard. <laughs> <laughs> the cold hard cash. Yes, exactly. And something else. And the men's wieners. <laughs> you did not just say wiener. I did say wiener. It well. feels weird coming out of my mouth. Yeah. That um, word is not like that's an, an adult what she word. Said. What? It feels weird coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, too easy, disgusting. too easy. Okay. It is too easy. Too easy. But you know what was not hard this week were the men. No. <laughs> oh my god. There was well, the cop you was a little so bit obsessed. sexual. The cop was a little bit sexual. Right. He was He cuter. was very sexual. He was cuter at the end of the episode than he was when we first saw Why, him with his comb over. With his, with his comb <laughs> He over. had a comb Yeah, he looked a lot older when he first yeah. came in. And then when he was in his officer gear. He looked, yeah, he had like a little mountainy hat and stuff. He looked pretty cute. Yeah. Not like hot. Who was I obsessed with? What were you going to say? No, nothing. <laughs> I just feel like the shoes, his like lizard skin um, cowboy boots. You can't wear those when you're a cop. Right. Like when you're on duty, right? Right. Like, shouldn't it be like more uniform? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how they do it in Texas. Well, everything is bigger there. Right, but it's the same as here. They have uniforms. I don't know if they're allowed to wear snakeskin boots. I guess so. Apparently. The West Hollywood Client cops wear booty shorts. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. They do. They do booty shorts they and a tank crime. top. They fight crime in like UPS style. Yeah. Uniform. Tank tops? They do not wear tank tops. <laughs> they should. That's a lie. Oh, They'd girls. get a lot more done. Girls. They'd get nothing done. Ew. Absolutely not. I hardly ever see West Hollywood cops anyway. They're everywhere. Are they? West Hollywood is inundated hmm. with cops. Well, it's hopefully the I don't see one tonight. city in LA. That's not true. What? Confirmed fact. West Hollywood is the safest city in LA? Yeah. You heard it here first. What was that? <laughs> what was After that? Buzz. You're like, yeah. Buzz. After buzz. Well. <laughs> I even got a sound effect. I know. <laughs> I don't believe that. That is not a fact. Whatever. The girls are on lockdown. <laughs> anyway. I hate you. It is a fact. The girls are on lockdown. We'll be researching that. We will be researching that. Mm -hmm. And then you will eat your mm -hmm. words. We'll see. We'll see. Just like that spicy anything. tuna. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> David and I are messes today. We are messes. If you can see us. <laughs> we were watching the client list in, in the, the dark. In the dark. And Sarah was eating <laughs> sushi, sushi. And I was eating chocolate. And I got <laughs> chocolate all over and my I white got, pants. I got spicy mayo on my shirt. <laughs> my braid tail is blocking the little splooge. I have my legs crossed I'm because 
I'm covered in chocolate. Yeah, and I have a hole in my leggings, apparently. <laughs> so we're, we are very classy. We're bringing it to you. Yeah, we are. Classy. Here at After Buzz. Yeah, we are. We dress up for the occasion. We should focus on what we're here to talk True. about. True. <laughs> True. So they're on lockdown. They're on lockdown because the cops are, are staking them. Well, you thought at first that Georgia was into the cop. You were like, mm-hmm. She well, she was, was giving him the eye, like the <laughs> the, like the old lady break sex me eye. Off a piece of that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. She was exactly. giving him the cougar eyes. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, she was. But that was not. She was like, I like your boobs. <laughs> right. <laughs> you tell a lot about a man a really from his him. boots. You do like a pretty dead-on impression. Of her, <laughs> I have to say. Because um, I'm obsessed with Loretta Devine. Yeah, you are. Uh, you just go home and watch like old Breathe. footage of her. Um, but you know, can we, we can talk about them all the way until the end, right? What happened at the end with them? Can I? You can talk about what happened at the end with them. Okay. So we're talking about the entire lockdown at the rub. Okay. So that guy Shut came in, it was just one cop. So he disrupts the whole scene of events. And at the end, although I feel like if a cop, like, let's say a cop is undercover, okay. right? I'm going to give you a scenario okay. a cop is undercover right and he's picking up a hooker mm -hmm. on the side of the road mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and he tells her he wants to get sexy times mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. <laughs> and they negotiate a price right right and then he hands her a 50 mm -hmm. he asked for it shouldn't isn't he in yeah. the wrong but she's soliciting, like if she's just on but the side of the road. But what if she wasn't soliciting? What if she's just like hanging out dressed like a slut? And he's just like, hey girl, you look hot. Can I pay you $50 for a, a blow job? <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> I almost said it. I didn't say right. it. Um, well, because that's how it would go down. I was putting myself in a cop's position. Right, and totally. I was, I was play acting. <laughs> I was play acting. That's great. Um... I mean, uh, I don't know. I I think I feel like it's part of their job to cops jobs to uh -huh. to get free blowjobs. No, <laughs> I mean maybe I don't know if that's in the manual or anything. But I mean because don't they have to go through with it? To no. Oh, they don't. No, it's just soliciting sex in general, asking for the money. Oh. Uh. Accepting the deal, I think, is where. They can do it. And whores always take the money first. Right. Business well, first. But except for, is prostitution legal pleasure. in Nevada then? It's legal in Nevada. It's not legal in Las Vegas. Okay. So that's why there's like all those little places like on the outskirts. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right. Well, I just thought it was weird how at the end he pulled her over. He pulls Riley over the cop. And then he and looked like he wanted to eat her. Right. He looked like he just wanted to gobble her up i thought he was gonna rape her you did yes I you didn't, didn't think that no oh my god by the way that he was looking at her i swear i thought he was gonna like rip off her clothes and throw down with her in the back of her I truck i thought he was gonna be like hey how about some after hours bow, action bow, 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 right in something the back like of your that truck so do you think he knew that that was riley and like followed her from the rub or no I didn't even think about that. Right? Like, did it just happen to be her? That's kind of a weird coincidence. Or didn't even look like she was speeding. No. I'd imagine if Jennifer Love Hewitt was speeding, she'd be singing "Bare Naked." Right? Or how do I deal? <laughs> how do I deal with you? She's all <laughs> speeding. No, it's "Bare Naked." "Bare Naked" no, is a speeding I like song. How do I deal? Uh uh. <laughs> no. Uh uh. Oh my God, we need to play some Jennifer Love I Hewitt music in here. Always speed when I hear that song. Do you have any Jennifer Love Hewitt music, Ronnie? Gonna get some. I'll get right on that. Um, <laughs> iTunes. Perfect. Maybe we oh talk yeah. about iTunes. Yeah, uh, you yeah. know, no, we're not there yet. Probably Amazon. We'll there. Are you going to do Amazon? I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Oh, happy Mother's Day, by the way. Jesus Christ on a crust. <laughs> <laughs> happy Mother's Day. I'm getting happy a not lot a of Mother's shit Day. from everybody. Happy not a Mother's Day, David. Happy not a Mother's Day to you Thank as well. Thank you. Hopefully not. And happy Mama's Day to my mama. And happy Mother's Day to my mommy, too. We're sending you love. Yes. Peace and love. Nothing but love. How did you talk to her today? Did you talk to your mom? I did talk to my mother. Good. She was getting a massage. She was? <laughs> no joke. <laughs> <laughs> she really was? That's 
that's how she rolls. Brought to you by the client list. Brought to you by Jennifer Lafayette. Yes. <laughs> You're like, hey, mom, I sent you a massage. Did you get her a gift? No, I didn't get her a gift. You didn't I am Amazon. a her gift. Com? What? That's what my mom but said. I said, what do you want? And she's like, just your love is enough. And I was like, oh, okay, what do you really want? <laughs> and she's like, a Home Depot gift card. And I was like, all right, fine. So do you know where you should have gotten her Home Depot gift card instead of going to Home Depot? Amazon. Made your life easier and gone to Amazon.com. But instead of going directly to Amazon.com. God, that's a mouthful. Well, you go to AfterBuzzTV.com. You go to AfterBuzzTV.com and click on the Amazon link. Um, it does cost nothing extra to you, but it helps us out here majorly in a ways you would never imagine. <laughs> So many ways. That it makes keeps no us cool. sense. <laughs> keeps us cool. It keeps us really cool. And it allows us to um, spill food all over our clothes. Yeah. And then get laundry detergent sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and it makes, provides our lovely decor. It right? does nothing. It does absolutely <laughs> nothing. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> but just do it. If you're going to buy anything online, just go to AfterBuzz TV. think about it. Click on the link for um amazon ah. yeah and you could probably buy this cd on yeah. amazon.com i actually too. have it's this a CD. really good cd <laughs> i have it too the last song on this seat on this album is um janice joplin cover yeah <laughs> where you're walking naked oh down the street i'm so happy right now it's really like a dance and break everyone just <laughs> Oh, this is making me so happy. Have, like Jennifer loves you at karaoke. This is great. I know. I love that. I just want to like take it in, close my eyes. And start speeding on the freeway. I'm the only one. Didn't even get to the chorus. The best part. All right. All right. So back to the show. Wah, back wah, to wah. the show. So are we? Oh, lockdown. We still haven't talked about Selena. So she didn't comply with the lockdown. Oh, yeah. That's because you interrupted me. I did. God <laughs> damn it. Just wanted to. to Selena's a whore. Knowledge. All right. And she was never going to comply with the lockdown. You could right. tell in her face. Right. She tried. She gave it a good go. She gave it a tried. good go. But a whore <laughs> is like a whore. A and she just <laughs> had to deal with it <laughs> well you know what she said what i thought was interesting <laughs> was that she wasn't doing anything she was just helping them do it themselves right which i'm very confused at like because maybe. we still don't know what goes on behind closed doors well like can we speculate what do you think auto fellatio what's that S giving yourself a blowjob no that's not uh, she's not like bending them contorting <laughs> their bodies she's folding them in <laughs> half she's like here suck your own wiener <laughs> no she's i think lick it like maybe she lets them like i don't know she like teaches she them how to masturbate no she just probably gets naked and like has them look at her maybe she touches herself something you know to like stimulate them and then they well, that's like not any more legal up. than giving somebody a hand job, and it's a lot more work. Well, you're just getting naked. I mean, well, whatever. Anyway, so she didn't comply, and yeah, so they were on She's lockdown for good all of five minutes. For a week, and apparently yep. time flies by on the client list because oh it's been yeah. six months apparently since the show started. Last month it was three months, or last week it was three months. Now it's three months have passed. <laughs> Apparently three months just went by in like, a week. Yeah. Like that. You would never yeah. have even noticed. Never. Nothing I mean, changed. I didn't notice. Nothing, Nothing has changed. changed. Riley's still the same old lady. Yeah. She's still got the same old problems. There was lots of fatty uh, stuff happening. But I we'll know. talk about it later. We will talk about it later, but I'm happy. I'm, l I'm, more I'm glad she's getting more screen time. Yeah, and I'm glad the... The old love, the oldie love is gone. The old dog's love is Me out of the pick. Me too. Yeah, they just nip that in the bud. Um, so Mark, the doctor at Riley's school, yeah, right, asked her out on a date. But then he sort of, well, she thought it was a date. He was like, It so was a date. I think I wrote down what he said. He's like, maybe we can hang in there. Oh, he was like, how you doing? And she was like, I'm hanging in. And he's like, maybe, maybe we, we can, can hang, hang in, in there, there together, together sometime. And she's like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Here, let's, we'll just play act it. Right. You're Mark. <laughs> like, I'm Jennifer okay. Love Hewitt. I'm Mark. No, I want to be Jennifer Love Hewitt with the hair extensions. Should I take my braid out? 
Mm, that's not how it works. You started it, so you no. have to be marked. No, I'm gonna play both parts, okay? <laughs> I feel more comfortable doing <laughs> both. Fine. <laughs> like a Jekyll and Fine. Hyde. Fine. I already did it. So he was like, maybe we. Or she was like, he was like, how are you? She's like, maybe. Or I can't do it. See, <laughs> this is why you suck at life. He said, maybe we can hang in there together. And she's like, no, I'm not dating right now. I'm not doing that. And he was like, I meant a play date. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then she was like. <laughs> she was like, oh, a play date. Right. And, and she, she was, was like, like, why okay. don't you come on over after five? Right. With the kids, of course. And we'll have an early dinner. So he came over chillings. with the kids. And I didn't find him attractive before, but he was okay in, in this episode. He got a little bit hot when he pinned her up against the wall and was like wanting to, you know. Get That's because you like it, Ralph. Yeah, I do. But and so does Riley. Yeah. And she so. was into it. She was digging it. They were like yeah. water sportsing it. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> were, <laughs> they were not water sportsing. They were playing yeah. a sport oh, they with were, water. They were. They were playing with water guns, literally. They were literally guns. playing water sports. They yes. were not peeing on each other. No, they were not. And we'll clarify that for right, you. Right, right. <laughs> As we found out in earlier episodes. As you found out. Yes. You knew that already? I know <laughs> a lot of sex things. And do you now? Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm that experienced. <laughs> but. But. You know a lot of I things. am very well versed. In the sexual. In sexual vocabulary. Vocabulary. I like that. You're a sexual vocabularist. I'm going to write a novel. Yeah. <laughs> what dictionary. Sex vocabulary. Like a urban dic dictionary. dictionary. I like it. <laughs> a sectionary. No one take that. I copyrighted it here. Right here. Yep, right now. Right here. If I see it on Amazon.com, I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. Or iTunes. Or right. iTunes. I'm coming for you. Um, so they had a date, and then... A very cute date. Yeah, he's okay. He's just kind of blah. No, I'm... Kind of magoo, uh, boring. I thought the date itself was cute. It was cute. Because they both have kids, and the kids were getting along, and her Riley's son was like, Hey, can I show him my Transformers? <laughs> Is that how I speak? That's how in my head. Yeah, I'm <laughs> when the kids are talking, <laughs> he has I'm just a speech like speech impediment. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> snoring and, and bored. I think the kid changed races because if I'm yeah, not he looks totally different. If I'm not yeah. mistaken, <laughs> when he was first introduced, he was like a brown boy. Right. And now he was a white boy. Right. A brown boy. I mean, it's not like he was all of a sudden African American or anything. I said brown. I think he was Indian the first time. <laughs> he was not Indian the first. I think he was. No, he wasn't. Am I imagining things? Yes. Maybe he just had You're a tan. Indian fantasies. Yeah, that was. He definitely was not. Um, Whatever. It was a different kid. Whatever. Yeah. And he was a lot older. Yeah, I don't remember what his kids looked like before. <laughs> I think I would have remembered if they were Indian, but maybe not. That's, that's what I. That's what stuck out in my head. I mean. Oh, this is the day. This is the day. We're date. like I'm in real you. time. We are in real time. And I think they had a really cute date. Her like air conditioner broke. And he was like, I'm going to go fix it. And he was like, and I can coagulate all, I an artery anything. with a catheter. and But when it comes to air conditioning. Blah, 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 and then, blah. of course, Lacey busts in. And then steals the kids and brings them to yeah, DQ. Yeah, which was kind of nice. Yeah, Dairy <laughs> Queen, of course. Of she course. had to take them to a food establishment. To Dairy Queen. That sounds delicious right now. Fudgy the whale. Is that Dairy Queen? I don't think so. I think it is. It is? No. I That's Carvel. That's Carvel. Excuse me. I always just... Oh, I love Dairy Queen. The Blizzard. It's delicious. I know nothing about DQ. Anyway, it's fine. It's fast food. You shouldn't... It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Handy who. So, they... You're, s you're over Mark. You get bored. You are so bored by him. I am so he bored He was adorable. Snore. The only time I liked they him... They talked about vanilla ice cream, and then he came back the next day with a tub that of vanilla nice. ice cream and left a little note on it that said, I'll take simple and sweet any day. That was nice, but she's hardly simple and sweet, as we know. No. But the only part I liked is when, yeah, he like kind of got a little aggressive. Otherwise, it's like, ugh. Just, he's Boring nice. old white guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's just nice. You're racist. <laughs> I'm not racist. I like white guys. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, he's just kind of blah to me. So we'll see how it goes. What is it about him that bores you? Because I think they're a good match. He's like a doctor and he's just kind of not interesting. I don't know. He's not. There's nothing really that sexy. Maybe it's the actor they got. He's kind of blah. 
Is it because he kind of looks like a bizarro David Duchovny? <laughs> yes. Yes, like a not as hot David Duchovny. Even though David Duchovny's not hot either. I mean, but just like, ew, this, is, this guy was so gross. <laughs> he was talking about his big wad. <laughs> yeah, he was. He's like, I got a big wad. <laughs> Get so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He's just he just doesn't do it for you. Mark is just not. All right. Well, does Evan do it for you? No. Oh my God. What is wrong with you? Physically, Evan does it for me, but he's such a you know what? A pussy. Yeah. I can't. I don't want to say it. A pussy. Yeah. You can say pussy. P-U-S-S-Y, can I spell it? No, it's weirder to spell it. What are you, five? <laughs> you can call him a vagine. Ew, I don't like that. Um, he's just, he needs to like grow a set and like step up to the plate. That's what unattracts me to him. He's very physically appealing, yes. But because he's all like, oh, hey, Riley. Well, like, put yourself in his position. His brother skipped out of town on his hot He's a drug addict, he's wife. never coming back. No, be careful. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You don't want to show everybody <laughs> your yatch. Hoo ha action. <laughs> <laughs> like because this week on the clan. <laughs> Sarah pulls a what's her face on basic oh instinct. <laughs> what's her name? Um, Sharon, Sharon Stone. Stone. <laughs> Oh this week on the client list, Sarah showed everybody her <laughs> yacht, just like Sharon Stone did. Uh -huh. Basic instinct. Sorry, there will be no, you know, yachts show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know. <laughs> Crazy. We're gonna save that for the finale. Yeah, we are. Ooh, should we do our the finale in our PJs? We should. I had a good idea that we could wear PJs, only if Ronnie wears them. Also, like a smoking jacket. Maybe. He doesn't want to be involved. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Um, could you focus? I feel like you're okay. killing me softly here. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're on Evan now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we transitioned to Evan very Hi. smoothly. And you didn't I was once notice. like so you. I like that he a lazy, has angry a Rona whose only joy with, was watching um, TV oh, and surfing the net. Name? Dale. And like you. Oh, I didn't know that husband. Yeah. I didn't know that husband. I'd be so excited and have Dale so many questions that I'd have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. He's married to Lacey. And I discovered after AfterBuzzTV.com. Who apparently... TV now they created this whole backstory that they've known each other in K7. For TV series right. of all kinds. Which like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV right. shows. Yeah. After Buzz TV but hosts are industry Evan insiders who Dale break down episodes like of shows, and they're like calls going from to bars fans, and, and, and interview cast and crew from each series. With over 60 they're different shows. They're I don't even know what that means. Growing out, man. They're out. They're watching the rodeo at the bar. And more. They're going to the diner. They're talking to the slut. My yeah. workers, oh who my I god. Those so bad. I wrote all about my her. Like, TV after shows. And, and I was like, uh, the they TV don't fan want interaction you. Like, like if there's anything that's yeah. not on the menu I can get, <laughs> yeah. just let me serve it up to you right here nice and steamy. Want, uh, <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> we were like, okay, please. No, she was gross. She was gross. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of loved her though. She was very aggressive. Yes, she was. And then Dale was like, "Yeah." Give us a call. Four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. But if Evan wants Riley, like he was a lot. I feel like he was a lot more aggressive. Like when she got drunk and he was like, "You never know what goes on." Well, then he. It's because he thinks that she's dating him. Well, the thing is, is that the person that she went on the date with was giant man with big not doctor. Yeah. Evan's getting them all confused. I mean, who right. would you guys rather hear? Like, he needs to be like, hey, you know what? Like, I'd like, like a turn on the show. Right. The show is over. Riley gets around. Yeah, she does. She's she big teeth. Big breath. Probably in her inappropriate outfits, which there was a lot of them. Except for the funniest part was when they were in lockdown and she came in. The guy was like, what are you wearing? <laughs> she was buttoned up like I get buttoned up all the way yeah, to the neck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but she was wearing two shirts. Yes, yeah, she was wearing like, she walks in wearing like seven shirts. <laughs> some long johns. And a She's scarf. Like, all right, I'll be doing your massage today. No, but I think Evan needs to, they need to do something with him other than have him be like, He's being oh. respectful. 
I don't know. I think he seems kind of weak. If your husband, I'm going to give you another scenario here. Okay, if I like your it. husband mm -hmm. left you with your two babies, I would fucking kill him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh <Go on>. my <laughs> god. After buzz. After buzz. After buzz. <laughs> if he left you with your two babies alone. Yeah. And <laughs> your brother in law. And he's a hot piece of man meat. Like they both this guy. were. They okay. both are. Right. Were. Okay. <laughs> they both are. Were. Were, are, whatever. And your brother in law was coming on to you. Wouldn't you think that's weird? She's into it. She's into it, though. Like, my sister-in-law calls me her brother. I mean, it is a little... St but I feel like their relationship... Which I think is weird, by the <laughs> way, Blair. <laughs> I think it's bizarre. Her name's Blair? Yeah. That is so beautiful. I love that. There you go, Blair. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I do see the creepiness aspect, but I do feel like they've sort of... Grown. Moved past that when they yeah. got naked and showered. Yeah. Together. Yeah. I feel like there's like a lot of sexual tension. There's a lot of sexual tension there. Sex, sexual, sexual tension. I just feel like, he, well, because she was looking like when he was like, oh, I need to tell you something. And she was like, yeah. You know, and then whatever he like came out with. Didn't he like sort of tease it or was it her? No, he was, he was like, I want to talk to you about something. And she was like, I know what you want to talk right, about. Right. He was like, you do? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I'm totally cool with it. And he's like, you are? And yeah. she's like, yeah, how much do you want? Right. And he was like, what? She was like, for the air conditioner. Right. Let me write you a check for the air conditioner. So I don't think she would be totally like skeeved out if he was like, I'm in love with you. I don't think she would be like, what? Are you serious? I don't think she would be doing that. Yeah, she would. You think so? Riley's very dramatic. I think that he's going to bust it out on the finale show. I think so, too, and I was thinking that I was going to say. it. He's just got to... Oh, predictions are That's right. okay. Um, but he... He's just got to, like, maybe get drunk some liquid courage or something and just bust out with it. All right. I mean, I understand. You know? I feel like he should. I feel like they're perfect together. Yeah. They're very cute couple and the kids love him yeah so we'll see i mean i'd like her to get with someone a little more like feisty and aggressive but we'll see. like mark no he's not feisty and aggressive Mo one moment two we'll have to see how they are in the sack which i'm sure we'll see soon <laughs> <laughs> here's to hoping yep so that's that all right best story that? of the day best story of the day Riley's fat friend, Lacey, right. is all up in her business. She found the $3,981 in cash. $84. What? 81 is it was what I wrote. I wrote 84. Oh, I, I heard her say $3,984 cash. I thought said $81 cash. It's inconsequential, the $3. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> just to be right. We'll see. Whatever, anyway, man. Anyway, she found the wad. She <laughs> found the wad in the freezer. And <laughs> Riley <laughs> says to her, best best line of the night. Yep. Riley says to her, what were you doing rifling around my things? And Lacey goes, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, Lacey. <laughs> I asked you to go in the okay. freezer to get the pizza. Oh God, stay God. out of my cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she, that was really, really funny. <laughs> she it was amazing. Oh, we forgot to mention that Lacey's Dale, her husband, let's just call him by his name, uh -huh. gave the okay on having the kiddos. I was going to get to that later. You were? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> sorry. okay. We'll, we'll just repeat <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> okay. Because right now we're talking about Lacey and Riley. All right, Not fine. Lacey's. Fine, but Lacey I gets her own topic. All right. Always. So, Lacey and Riley. Lacey she was lurking Riley. around. Riley was snooping around. Not Riley. Lacey, Lacey. was snooping around all episode. <laughs> yes, she was. And um, she was really upset and bothered. She Well, she found out that, that Riley was, was stroking him out. Um, <laughs> 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 Speaking of stroking out. Let's stroke out to a commercial, shall we? Why not? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, John Comerford here. I've got my Mad Men with me. Kevin Undegaro. Phil Svitak. For all you fans of Mad Men, we're your AfterBuzz TV hosts of Mad Men. Every Sunday right after the show, 9.30, we're breaking down the episode. And you can also check us out on iTunes and YouTube the following morning. We're going to get into the imagery, the symbolism, the structure. We give you all the information on Mad Men that the other podcasts out there don't. Very insightful. You're going to love it. Check us out. Hello, everybody. We are the LA Complex crew, and we are here with Andre Fuller from the LA Complex, who plays Caldrick King. And you can catch LA Complex every Tuesday night on the CW at 9 o'clock. After that, come to our After Buzz TV show, where we do a recap of the LA Complex. We talk about Raquel, we talk about sex tapes, we talk about, you know, relationships. And you can catch us live at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, AfterBuzzTV.com. If you can't catch us live, go ahead and swing over to YouTube the next day you can rate you can comment watch us itunes same thing download rate comment and we would love to hear your feedback and we love to support guys so please 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 support us and support the la complex buzz you later guys this is the after buzz tv crew for the real housewives of new jersey Woo! don't forget to tune in every monday night at 8 p.m to see adrian Vero, deanna vaughn susan hahn giselle ugardi Buzz you later! After Buzz TV, what do you want to buzz about? Okay, so because Sarah can't get her ish together, we have that's to rush not, through the rest of the show. True. It's true. Now keep your mouth shut. Um, now I'm confused. Uh, you need to say the it's a only, bombshell. The most important thing yes. is, is that Lacey found out that Riley is giving is a prostitute, and she's. They're watching Pretty Woman with the mom, a hooker with a gold heart. Right. Um, and she decides that even though she's a whore and getting paid for it, that she still loves her and that she's family. Right. Which I think is really sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Until she told Riley's mom. She didn't tell Riley's mom anything. She told her that she was dating somebody Which and that she didn't want to tell her because she was afraid that it would upset her mom that she, she was dating someone. She might as well have. She might as well have told. No. She kept her mouth shut. She did. Because I thought she was going to spill the beans. I really did. I did too. Yeah. Like it totally seemed. I would expect. I would have expected her to. So now she's the only one who knows so far. Yeah. She might tell Dale. Don't you think? Um, I don't think so. I don't think she'll tell Dale. Because if she tells Dale, then Dale will tell Evan. And then Riley will have no chance with Evan. True. And then we'll have no show. Nope. So... Let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope that doesn't happen. All right. So but that was our that was our episode. So let's jump into our news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. Lifetime renews the client list. Yay. The Jennifer Love Hewitt drama will return for a 15 episode second season. Lifetime has given the go ahead on the on another round of the client list. The cable network said Monday that it has picked up the Jennifer Love Hewitt led drama for a second season. The episode order has been up from 10 to 15 episodes for the new season. I'm so excited right now. I'm crying. The client list just got picked up for season two. Thank you, Lifetime. Thank you all for watching. Hewitt tweeted Monday morning. The client list represents presents everything we want to be, fresh, exciting, and original with attitude, said Nancy Debu, president and general manager of Lifetime Networks. We love Jennifer Love Hewitt and this series and are equally thrilled that they have connected with our audience, especially as we ex express our new brand, Your Life, Your Time. Centered on Texas How... Oh, we don't need to read that. The hour-long drama bowed in early April with an average of 2.8 million total viewers, making its the Nets most watched series debut since Drop Dead Diva in 2009. Oh, that's super exciting. All right, Jennifer Love Hewitt admits to getting bejazzled for special occasions. Jennifer Love Hewitt doesn't just get dressed up for special occasions, she gets bejazzled. At Wednesday's A&E Network's 2012 Upfront event, the clientless star told us, or told the Daily News, that beneath her cleavage-bearing Alexander McQueen dress, she was bejazzled because it's a special occasion. Hewitt created a stir several years ago when she told the then-TBS talk show host George Lopez she was a fan of bejazzling. For the un uninitiated, that's when women apply glitter and jewels to their nether regions for aesthetic purposes. When Can't they you get a yeast infection from doing that? I like feel like that would be it just incredibly uncomfortable, like and hard to keep together. 
Because it says, it says when they asked her what she had done, she said she was emblazed with clear crystals to balance energy disturbances. And Into she her said vagina. She's full of good energy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so her vagina is full of. Good I mean, energy. I'd be willing to give it a go, but I wonder like how they're positioned and. Well, let's find a vajazzling salon. Oh my god, a vajazzler! And we'll do um, an after buzz on the go. Oh my god, uh, would you get something jazzled? If they'll do it. <laughs> Well, I mean, they should, right? I don't know. All right. Are you doing... Oh, you're going to save your b the best for last? Best for last. You're, okay, fine. Um, Jennifer Love Hewitt wants to be Anastasia from Fifty Shades of Grey in the movie so badly. She's ready to throw her hat in the ring for the female lead in the flick. She says she wants to be Anastasia so badly. And let's see. Basically, in the book, Anastasia is a young woman. You haven't read it, right? No. Who, after taking over an assignment to interview eligible bachelor Christian Grey, ends up on an R-rated journey. And it's like super S&M and super hot. Totally what I'm into. Um, Don't lie, you said it was like, boring. It has bored me so far, confession. I mean, I'm only on chapter five, so I'll give it a go, but it's kind of a snooze. Okay. So, <laughs> so it says, <laughs> she said, I think it would be awesome. I think it would be really, really fun. Um, she said she started reading the book and she's saving the rest for her vacation in a month or so. Um, blah, blah, blah. And she said... If she hasn't finished reading the book, how can she tell she wants to play the character? Well, she knows enough about it. That's ridiculous. That would be pretty hot, her and Ian Summerhalder, because he said he wanted to do it. I too. know. That would be pretty hot. That would be really it, hot. So. Anyway, get to, your good get to the best for last. Yes. So the fourth man has stepped forward to accuse John Travolta of sexual misconduct. OMG. John Travolta and his legal team are certainly going to have a lot of explaining to do. A fourth individual has reportedly come forward to accuse the actor of sexual harassment and just like the previous three, claims that he engaged in so much inappropriate behavior with the staff at the Peninsula Hotel Spa that he was banned for three years until he complained to hotel officials and was removed from the black Blacklist. According to former employer Michael Caputo, Travolta would always request a man for his massage, but after only a while, no one would take him. But after a while, no one would take him. It got to the point where they couldn't find any men to take him, and they had to ban him. He was accused of removing his towels, grinding against the massage table, and lifting his butt in the air. Oh, my. Of course, as Laura Marty Singer maintains, if he was banned, do you think he'd ever go back? He's never been banned, I guarantee you. The hotel never told John he was banned, and John never acted improperly. It is just us. Is it just us, or the beginning? is this beginning to sound less and less assured and more and more like Lindsay Lohan's spokesperson? Yeah. This is going to be one interesting court case. That's all we can say. Like, you would think he would have found a different spa to go to instead of begging to go back to the peninsula, right? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I want to... I personally... I'm a big fan don't of his. Don't want I think to he's comment. Great. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know why <laughs> I don't want to comment. Did you work at the Peninsula Hotel? I work, I'm a masseuse at the Peninsula <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> and I have signed a <laughs> non-disclosure form. I mean, why don't you want to comment? I'm not sure. I feel very uncomfortable with the whole thing. And why? I feel like, I don't know. But I feel like <laughs> the way that the lawyers are are handling his things they're just like saying the same thing over and over and over again and they well, just because he's probably guilty 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 that's right why. they're just like repeating themselves and it's just like it makes me uncomfortable they need to just pay those people and just have it go away is what i'm thinking he needs to just come forward and admit it be like oh yeah i was totally no he's never gonna do that i know that because then his career would be over and he's a saint right um, and that's your After Buzz TV news and gossip for the week of May 13th. And now, your After Buzz TV prediction. Is it May 13th? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what did we see I put in the... Someone asks her if her boobs are fake. I put next week a black guy. We have oh, a black guy. Our first, our there first was a black, black guy. Man. No way. There was in the first Not montage... Like the first montage, montage, there was one black but, guy. You know, there's the first black character. Right, that Riley... Oh my god, there's no black people on the show. Oh I wait, know, just kidding. <laughs> Rhoda Devine. Oh, oh, and yeah. Natalia Oh my god. Oh my god, I totally <laughs> forgot. They're <laughs> black. <laughs> there are black people on the show. But yeah, so there's a new black guy next week. Someone asks if her boobs are real, and... She apparently sees a client off... Oh, off-site. Off-site, which which and she no runs no. into Mark. Yeah. 
Hopefully that's the end of Mark. That's what I I'm like hoping. Mark. You're a stick in the mud. Hopefully he has to. <laughs> Mark could be good for her. He's a doctor. He's and he drives a Benz. So she's going to what? Have him pay her bills? She's poor. I know. But what no, else would she do? Poor. I mean, she's she poor. No, she's living comfortably now because she's, you know, giving hands. Stroking feet. everybody in Texas. Right. right. There's Dale. Good old Dale. I hate you. Why? <laughs> You are Just so spicy not on, my on it today. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. We'll get back to you next week. Yes. We'll be so more from everyone together. here, you'll be more together. Please. From everyone here at the AfterBuzz TV studios, myself and Sarah, have a wonderful night and thank you for Good tuning night. in. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the.